Hello, welcome to the Scale Model Club. It's been a while since I picked up a kit, but we're back, so let's get it on. Hello. Welcome back to the Scale Model Club. It's been a while, and I'm back. And I chose the smallest model we can find. It's the uh, Bren Gun Carrier from Airfix, and a six pounder gun, and gun crew. It's one of the vintage classics, so it's a very old kit. 176 scale. Let's have a look what we get. So we get a bag of sprues, some instructions, and a tiny pamphlet of uh, decals. Decals aren't bad, they're very small, it's a very small kit, so can't really go wrong with them. I think the key decals are for the 51st Highland Division, because they've got 51 on them. Let's have a quick look at the instructions, shall we? So instructions is one page, it's not much to do. Um, brain gun carrier, and there's the six pounder at the bottom so we're going to start with the uh, six pounder and then carry on with the brain gun there's a little bit of information on the front about where the vehicle's from uh, what it did uh, let's get into this uh, model whenever you're using sharp knives scissors careful ladies and gentlemen boys and girls So, sprues are in green, and they're very old. There's lots of flash. Um, there's not a lot of detail, uh, but then again, it is only a very small kit. Um, I the intentions I have for this kit are to do like a a little diorama of um, English tank column uh, because I did uh, a while ago. I did a German tank column being attacked by a Spitfire. So this time I think I'll do a uh, English tank column and I've got a uh, brain gun carrier, I've got a little scout car, a uh, couple of Shermans, we'll put them all together. So uh, people, there's not much detail on the people. And here's the other sprue that's got the tracks are all built in one. So the suspension, the tracks, the wheels, everything comes as a part. Right, let's get on. Thanks everybody for sticking with us. I've picked up a couple of surprises and it's really nice to see because I haven't been here for oh, months. Um, but uh, I've really enjoyed building this model so thought I'd film it and see how we get on. So then we'll start with the six pounder. So these are my side cutters. Use these to cut uh, the model from the sprue and then use my scalpel to clean off flash and other bits and pieces just a little bit of a scrape um, just have to be a bit careful with small pieces because you tend to cut them off uh, the only thing I I, uh, I did like about the model uh, the only thing I didn't like is the breech not the breech sorry the, not, um, the end the other end of the gun uh, the flash hider that's not on there so I might once I've painted it and mucked about, I might drill a little hole in the end to make it look a little bit more like a barrel. So let's have a look through here for some bits. So we have, that's the uh, the gun itself. Uh, and this is the little carrier that the gun goes on. That just snaps onto the gun. Um, it does move if, I suppose, if you paint the gun itself, I didn't think about it, if you paint the gun itself, uh, and then fit that onto it after you've painted everything. It will move up and down, but obviously if you put it all together like I have and then paint it, nothing's going to move. But there is that option there that it can move. And this is the trolley that the gun sits on. You can do this in two different ways. You can either have the stays that hold the gun balanced when it fires. You can close them up and hook them into a 
kind of travelling position and then hook it onto the back of your brain gun carrier so it looks like your brain gun carrier is carrying your six pounder or you can have it set up like this to fire which I had it set up like this to fire because I'm going to have it in a little dugout on my diorama it's it's a good model to be fair it's very small it's very fiddly I do wish I'd picked up something a bit bigger really to come back into it but you know I don't have the space to show them all um, and I do like 172 so these are the wheels going on this is the only thing I didn't like about the kit is that the wheel hubs so you put some wheels on and then you put a wheel hub on the top and the wheel hub is huge compared to the wheel so I, I don't know if that's what they look like in real life or if they did have big hubs I don't know but the hub seemed oversized apart from that loved it brilliant came out really nicely I thought watch this ping off into the distance uh, no, oh no that went that no bit fiddly but that wouldn't be fun otherwise would it So if you enjoy the video, make sure everyone likes and subscribes and push the notification button, then you get to find out how often I don't post videos. But you see what I mean now when I, it looks a little bit clearer. If I get my bald head out of the way. See how big that uh, the hub is? Yeah, I wasn't keen on that. But it looked all right. Well, once the paint's in and the weathering was on, it all looked really good. So that's the gun. Put the put the uh, armoured the armoured front on it. Sorry, my fingers are all in the way, and it's off camera. And like I said, it's been a while. There we have it, six pounder with the armoured plate on the front. All ready for North Africa. And let's go with the um, the brain gun carrier. Uh, so just exactly the same as the other one. Cut the pieces of plastic with your side cutters, and then give it a bit of a sand so that you get rid of all the flash off the sides and the bits that attach it to the sprue. As I said, it is an old model, so it's a bit, you know, doesn't quite fit as well as you'd like it to you know there's a lot of flash to take off but but generally it actually makes quite a nice model so there's the base plate and we'll put the walls on walls or well, the sides of the Bren gun carrier on I'm quite a fan of the Bren gun carrier I did I have actually done like a 135th scale one which I might pick up again uh, I'll tell you why in a minute But yeah, so there the sides go on. That's Tamiya's extra thin glue I'm using. Brilliant stuff. Absolutely love it. This is uh, just a black primer. So did all the tracks. Like I said, the wheels, the suspension, the tracks all come as one bit. So I chose to paint certain bits that you can see and left others. But um, So I used a black primer from Vallejo just to give it a little bit of shadows when you try and paint it um, and I'm going to be using a new paint set on this that I've not used before but I've got to be honest it was fantastic it's me priming the uh, six, six pounder that I've mounted on a piece of blue tack and a cocktail stick with my new improvised cardboard box spray booth sorry you can see the legs of the tripod but as I said it's all a bit haven't done this for a while so this is the kit I'm going to be the paint kit I'm going to be using it's uh, like ATV by AK and it is 1943 and uh, 1942 to 43 desert colors for the for the army um, um, British army uh, and it's it, they're brilliant paints that are straight in the airbrush straight onto the model no thinning no mucking about covered really nicely and it's a um quite a strange pattern i'm going to be using but it, it does say that uh it was a pattern used in 42 and 43 
so this is like a light sandy pattern and then it's got like a dark green front and a uh, a lighter colour at the back you have to mask up all the different colours that's Tamiya's masking tape and you'll see when I turn it over you'll see the, the colours it looks brilliant I must admit I was really pleased with how this came out since I hadn't painted anything for a long long time oops but yeah so you've got like a sand in the middle dark green at the front light green at the back very pleased then what I didn't film is uh, I then gave it a clear coat like a gloss clear coat so that I can put the uh, slide the decals around the decals uh, cut out with my Stanley knife put in a bowl of warm water for two or three seconds or 20 seconds um, until they move on the paper then slide them off the paper onto the model and then I use Tamiya's mark fit to uh, seal them to the model gave that a bit of time to dry and then as you can see tried some streaking grimes first time I've tried this as well uh, the model's still got a gloss coat on it uh, I also had some old 172 uh, add-ons for 172 tanks and stuff so I've got some I'll put some tarps down the side of it as a rucksack stuck on the side and on the back I put another big tarp as if it was carrying stuff um, I'm oh, sorry I didn't film those um, you'll see see where I've stuck them on the side and it looks like they've just hung their tarpaulin that when they rest at night and sling it over the vehicles now I paint this on straight on with my little brush this is an enamel um, from AK so the, all the rest of the paints are uh, acrylic with an acrylic um, gloss coat and this is this is a uh, enamel coat so I let that dry for a little bit and then just wipe it off with the cotton bud uh, so it gets rid of all the dirt in the flat pieces and leaves it all in the little recesses so it actually looks like you've got dirt build up on the recesses I, 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 I'm still not sure whether I should have found myself a nice deserty sand to use to put it on so it, so it actually made the vehicle look a little dusty but I must admit I'm quite happy with how the vehicle turned out so it looks nice and you can see the all the recesses and all the nooks and crannies but thanks very much for watching uh, glad you glad I'm back glad I'm made the models again and I hope to see you all soon when I, when I build the next model to go with the diorama and my little bread gun carrier. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, push that notification bell and I'll see you next time. Thank you.